Hey guys, it's the Vine Nutritionist, and we're finally back with videos for you guys for the new year. And today we're kicking it off by talking about the top three supplements combat athletes should be taking. A few of these supplements I've touched on in the past, so for more information, make sure to go back to my YouTube channel and watch those videos, but we'll still cover some information about them here. And before we get started, I just want to add that before starting a new supplement, it's imperative that you've discussed it with a certified health professional to make sure it's appropriate for you. All right, so what supplements should be sitting on every combat athlete's kitchen counter? My number one supplement recommendation for most athletes is creatine. So just to recap real quick, creatine is a non-essential amino acid that's mainly stored in our muscles with a small amount stored in the brain as well. It's naturally found in foods such as red meats and fish, so you can get it naturally in your diet. However, when we increase our natural stores by supplementation, it has shown to have a really wide range of incredible benefits. And those are things like increased muscle mass and strength, increased speed, improve recovery from training and from injury, decrease inflammation, decrease risk of dehydration, and neuroprotective effects as well. That's the latest research on creatine so you know this is really important for fighters it has protective effects in your brain however the biggest concern with creatine for fighters is that it can increase water weight but by initiating a washout period of about four weeks or just decreasing your daily dose as your fight day approaches allows you to maintain all these really great benefits with no extra water weight retention so nothing to worry about with creatine there in terms of it you know keeping weight on your body all right next supplement I always recommend is beta alanine Beta alanine is also an amino acid that's naturally produced in the liver and it's also found in foods such as poultry and meat. And the benefits of this supplement is it essentially allows you to perform at really high intensities for longer periods of time. So essentially when we exercise at really high intensities, we produce something called hydrogen ions, which creates an acidic environment in your muscles. This mechanism tells or forces your body to slow down so it can clear those hydrogen ions from your muscles. So what beta alanine does is kind of buffer that accumulation of hydrogen ions or that acidic environment so you can essentially maintain higher exercise intensities for longer periods of time. It's typically recommended to take four to six grams of beta alanine a day for at least four weeks to increase your natural stores. However, a common side effect is that it does create kind of a tingling feeling. So if you're someone who's really sensitive to it, I would probably recommend starting with a lower dose of one to two grams um, to kind of just assess your tolerance because sometimes, you know, people don't often enjoy that tingly feeling that they get. All right, last up is omega-3s. Omega-3s are an essential fatty acid, meaning they must be consumed in the diet and are essentially responsible for decreasing inflammation and make up a lot of hormone-like substances in your body that improve blood flow. So foods naturally high in omega-3s include fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna. Some nuts and seeds contain omega-3s as well, but they aren't as rich of a source as fish. So I'd probably recommend going the fish route instead of the nut route. But you know, since combat athletes and many elite athletes alike regularly engage in really vigorous exercise, it's important to promote recovery by decreasing inflammation and soreness induced by that exercise. So typically, it's recommended to consume at least three grams of a high quality omega-3 supplement daily. What's a high quality omega-3 supplement? So, you know, if you're looking at the back of a package, a high quality omega-3 supplement will have a thousand milligrams of EPA plus DHA per supplement. So that's per capsule. And at minimum, it should have 600 milligrams of the EPA and DHA. And you guys wanna consume at least three of those capsules per day. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. For more information on these supplements, make sure to go back to my YouTube channel for those old videos or DM me with any of your questions. You guys know how to reach me. Follow me at The Fight Nutritionist on Instagram or check out my website, thefightnutritionist.com. See you guys next week.